What's good YouTube, how y'all doing man? Welcome back to another video, man. Today we're going to be going over the best sniping filters in the game where you guys can make upwards towards 100K each hour you in these sniping filters. But before we get this video started, I gotta give a special shout out to my notification gang, man. I appreciate y'all. I apologize for not giving y'all a special shout out, but listen, we back with the noty shout outs, man. Every single video we talk about coins, we're gonna give y'all a notification shout out. If you want to get a notification shout out, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, comment on the video as soon as the video drop, and you have a chance to win a post notification shout out. But before we get into the video and the sniping filters, I want to show y'all something, right? Because a lot of people say like the NFL is softer now and all that kind of stuff, man. So I, I was watching some highlights, some highlights came up on Instagram, and I was watching some Tiki Barber highlights. Now I want to show y'all exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm going to mute the video so we don't get hit with the copyright, but this is why tiki barber should be in the hall of fame right and i just want y'all to look at the tackles the way people used to tackle back in the day man i just just look at it man just just watch how trash people are when they was tackling now i'm not gonna say i'm gonna say one thing right at the same time he was shifty but it's just some instances where i feel like yo they could have made some better tackles man right here at ninas williams he made a, a okay tackle right here the tackling bro how did you how does number 93 let him go like that, bruh? I just want you to just look at that, bruh. He got him on, he's on his back. He's on his back and watch him let him go. Look at how he let him go, bruh. Like, it is so crazy when you watch the NFL back in the day versus now. Like, the only reason why I'm bringing this up is because I think that a lot of running backs and just a lot of players in general, they performed really well back in the day. But they're so much better tackling nowadays man i think that some of these running backs nowadays who break tackles i think they're a lot better than what we give them credit for i just want to show y'all that real quick nothing crazy you feel me i just want to show y'all how i felt about tackling nowadays and tackling before because i feel like there's a lot of tackles out there that's suspect but then there's a lot of tackles out there that's like okay bro he's really a dog so we're gonna talk about filters for people who have a little bit of coins a lot of coins and what i think is the best filter for you guys to consistently make coins so for people who have a low amount of coins this is a good filter right here, the 86 to 87 free agency. And the reason why this filter is so good is because at times these cards come up here consistently fast for 10K, 11K. And you can sell these cards more than 15K. The cheapest one on the block right now is about 15,100. And you could easily sell these cards for 16K flat and make a good profit on it. Now, this is for people who don't got a lot of coins. You could use a lot of the 87s. I even like 86 to 87 legends because a lot of these cards go into different sets. Now, you could go all off offense or defense if all offense or defense is full then you can go into cap value now you just want to look at newest and see okay boom that's not really full so i can go all offense and then you want to go to all defense to see if that's full and on all defense it's not full so boom you can go all offense and all defense and make a lot of coins with that now another filter that's pretty decent in my opinion is going to be the team of the week players now these players are coming in the game super fast and they're coming out of the game super fast you can make a lot of profit on sniping these 87s 86s because these cards go up in value depending on what card come out depending on what set is a valuable set in the game so this is always a filter that you can hop in get in and make some coins okay so now we're moving up to the 88 through 89s which is another fire filter with the team of the week and the reason why it's so fire is because these cars go into sets if y'all don't know this i always say snipe cars that go into sets because you can get them so fast and you can find them fast you always want when you snipe it you always want to buy cards that sell fast the faster the car sells the faster you can get into your next buy and the more profit you can make and you're a lot of time whether it's 30 minutes to an hour now essentially it's the same thing you just want to go all offense all defense now you can switch this up and go cap value you can switch this up and go from program to program sometimes what i like to do is i like to switch it up and go like program all offense and then go from like legends and go from like team of the week series redux all type of cars so i can see exactly what's going on now legends is also a fire filter you're going to get a lot of snipes in the legends a lot of these cars just like the team of the week cars go into sets so it's a lot of profit in these sets and you can also snipe series redux series redux is fire too if you want to go all offense all defense i feel like personally series redux cards don't really get too hot until you get to about the 90 through 91s 
but you can look at series redux and see if you can find a couple cars in this filter now since we're moving up to series redux i want to show y'all a nice little fire filter for series redux right so instead of us going 90 through 91 what i like to do is i like to go through elite right and i like to find a cap value that's fire for me so you want to go newest and then you want to say okay at newest, can I see all offense? No, I can't. All right, bet. So now I'm going to go all players, and I'm going to see what can I see, what kind of cards can I see. So we have 16 minutes. So now we're going to go cap value. I'm going to switch up the cap value, and then I'm going to go like this, all offense or all defense. And the reason why you want to do this is because it's giving you a huge range of cards that you could snipe in. Depending on, I mean, obviously you gotta have a decent amount of coins, but the more coins you have, the better these filters get. And then all defense is a goer, right? So now that we know all defense can can go and, and, and we can see the newest card, we can go 31 through 50. Let's see if we can see the newest card and all defense 31 through 50. Okay, we can't. So now we're gonna go 51 through 60. And basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to find a filter that you can go back and forth on, back and forth. Now you can see right here in this filter, I can see 96s, 95s, and I could probably see 94. So you can see a couple 94s. So I would probably be going like this, 41 through 50, back and forth, all defense, boom. And as you can see, you see in 95s, you see in 96, you see in a variety of cars. So that's why I like this filter because it allows you to see a variety of all the series Redux cars and you're not just looking at one overall so this is a fire filter for people who are very experienced with sniping and you want to go back and forth back and forth back and forth also if you want to take this same method to like legends and stuff like that you can if you can find a filter so essentially any program that has a big program you could take this same method and use it so just as we see in legends 41 through 50 we could do all defense 41 through 50 we can't do 51 through 60, right? But let's see if we can do 31 through 40. And this is, I really like this because it gives you a, a huge variety of sniping cards. So we can't do it that way. So let's go all offense. We can do it with all offense 41 through 50. Now let's see if we could do all offense 51 through 60. And I'm basically creating methods, I mean, creating filters for y'all to go into ASAP. If you wanna try these filters, try them out, see how many coins you can make because everybody's prices and numbers is gonna vary. Sniping is all about being at the in the right filter at the right time. That's why I kind of tell y'all, stick to one filter be consistent with that one filter because you never know what's going to pop up in that filter but you can see that we rock it with this all offense elite 51 through 60 legends and you can go back and forth on this all day and just make stupid profit because there's so many different overalls of cars being posted okay so here's another one of my favorite filters man you just go free agency and you go elite and you just go on all offense, all defense. Man, I'm talking about you can find crazy snipes in this filter. And I really think this is a fire filter because people are just dumping cars in this filter. And you can see all types of cars by just going all offense, all defense, and just looking at this entire promo. And it'll give you a good idea of how much you can build cars for. If you can snipe these cars, you can put them in sets, all that kind of stuff. You can find very cheap training when the chain is not actually oversaturated because right now training is probably oversaturated due to the fact that everybody's trying to do like training rerolls. So right now training probably isn't the smartest thing to be focusing on, but you can still make profit when people are heavily focused on training because now what happens is you can see a car for cheap and then you can put it up for a little bit higher because the training prices rose a little bit and you can make profit there. But as y'all see that these filters are extremely fire and you could easily make 100K in each one of these filters. Sometimes you can make 100K in less than an hour in a lot of these filters. I like to give you a variety of filters where you guys can see an abundance of cars so you don't get bored. And it's gonna take you a while to learn some of these prices. And I think that's why a lot of people get bored is because they don't necessarily know the prices. They're looking at 88s through 89s, all offense, all defense, and they're like, bro, this is boring. But imagine you looking at whole entire promo, free agency promo, learning every single car price. Now it's gonna take you a while to learn every single car price and consistently make coins. So you're not gonna get bored until you make millions of coins. Then you're gonna be like, okay, I need to go find something else. Pick a filter, pick something that works for you and consistently do it over and over and over again until you make millions of coins i hope you all enjoyed this video man if you did don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new i'm gonna see you on the next one i'm out peace